Whew. All right, so I'm here. This is the video I've been basically trying to make for the last month or so. Today I want to give y'all my review of the digital photo Thanos Pro Cine Steadicam system. All right, now for starters, I want to talk about what a Steadicam is. A Steadicam is essentially a camera stabilizer that allows you to fly heavier systems. So basically, when you think about cinema cameras and once you start to add in all those accessories, top panels, top monitors, V-mount batteries, all type of stuff, man, the weight goes crazy. So a Steadicam is what you would use in place of, let's say, an electronic gimbal. Now don't get it wrong, some electronic gimbals can definitely handle the weight capacity, but the price is gonna, shoo, it's just gonna balloon out of control. That That's just, let me just say that, number one. The first thing I wanna talk about with this system is the packaging. Number one, for 4,500, amazing amazing just that this thing comes with a hard case everything comes nice and neatly tucked into the case mind you this system mind you this system supports like a max payload of around 75 to 77 pounds with that being said it's heavy the case is heavy when you're first taking it man i had to lift this thing up the stairs and um luckily i work out but i was like i was like okay like it's a real deal and, and as you can see from the clips like i mean this is how it arrives you would get the same case if you order it as well number one the design to me is perfect um in the past i've used other steadicam systems the other steadicam system i've used is a much cheaper unit it's a came tv unit um, many, it's like more than 10 years old and when I was just kind of comparing those two night and day when I say this thing This is a professional tool. I mean, this is uh, Yeah, it, it looks feels and functions just like any other professional tool But man the build quality of this one is amazing. I can't go any further without talking about the price now I mentioned it earlier, but you pay 4,500 for the whole entire system I, I want to just compare this to something really quick the closest Steadicam that is comparable in terms of like the weight capacity and payload capacity starts at around $35,000. So just keep that in mind. For $4,500, you can fly a max payload of around 77 pounds. So that can, that's any camera. That's an Ari. That's if you want to get the biggest red. Man, if you want to get, um, hell, the payload on here is so high, you probably can fly two cinema cameras at the same time if you rigged them up right. Like I say, this thing, I mean, the capacity is crazy. That's one of the main reasons I wanted the unit. Next, I kind of want to just talk about the weight of the unit. As anybody knows, like I said, this thing supports up to a maximum capacity of around 77 pounds. With that being said, the unit is heavy. It's one of those things that if you're new to using a Steadicam, you're definitely going to have to get used to it. Luckily, this thing ships with one of the best vests that I've seen on the market. It's very comfortable. It's something that you can easily fit and get it to fit snug. I think just the whole idea of operating a Steadicam is something that people have to get used to in a sense because like i say this is a lot different from an electronic stabilizer now with an electronic stabilizer um generally you're going to feel it in your arm so you know y'all y'all got to do those curls for the electronic stabilizer with the steadicam system because you're rocking the vest what it's going to do is equally distribute the weight across your body and primarily put it on your hips with that being said when you're flying this rig you'll definitely feel it but it's one of those things where you kind of just have to not only get used to it make adjustments to your vest and also just do things that work for you because with this vest it's extremely customizable i mean it could pretty much anybody of any size and weight could essentially use it i found that it's one of those things where you really got to figure out what works for you because with that being said when you know what works for you like i said you can tailor it like on my vest for example i've added some extra memory foam on the back strap because um I found that that was one of my problem areas so i had to work on that but luckily with the way the system is designed there's actually a zip pouch and on that zip pouch you can actually put extra foam in there extra padding in there um to where you can make adjustments and make the vest a little bit more comfortable for you now you can't tweak like the top shoulders and all that good stuff luckily everything is adjustable in terms of the velcro but specifically on that back support you can actually add in extra padding which actually makes the thing a lot more comfortable Another thing I wanted to talk about, and I don't think this is talked about enough, I feel like it's touched on, but I want to talk about the learning curve associated with the Steadicam. I think a lot of people feel like you can get a Steadicam and you can just fly it with ease, fly it with ease. Understand that it's one of those things, because it has no electronic components, 
Now, don't get it twisted. It has electronic components kind of built into the sled, so you can actually like run the wire. Like all of the wires are inside the pole, so those are there. The electronic components that I'm talking about are specifically related to stabilizing the unit. You're gonna have to manually stabilize this unit. With that being said, it's definitely gonna be something where you gotta play around with. You definitely gotta get it right, and if you make any adjustments to your camera, you put on a different camera, different lens, different battery you're going to have to tweak it now i will say once you start to get the hang of it it does become easier and easier but it's definitely one of those things where let's say you're doing a shoot or you're working on a short film you definitely want to have somebody there to either properly balance the unit or to help you balance the unit depending on where your level of expertise is like i say it's definitely one of those things where you're going to have to practice and one of the first things one of just a tip that I want to give the people. Number one, make sure you're properly securing the vest. You want to make sure the vest is on. From there, when the vest is on properly, um, you want to make sure the arm is right because with mine, I did have to actually loosen it up. At first, I had it way too tight. My camera is up here. It's one of those things where you got to make the adjustments. You have to basically fine tune the system. Now, keep in mind, this will be true for any Steadicam system, not just the Thanos unit. Any Steadicam system, you're going to have to properly balance. You're going to have to get used to it. So I just wanted to get that out the way. Okay, so I wanted to kind of compare this to an electronic gimbal. So the primary difference, I would say, with this and an electronic gimbal is, like I said, you definitely got to manually balance the unit. Um, the max payload capacity is going to far exceed most electronic gimbals, especially for the price point. Um, so that's kind of one of the biggest things now an electronic gimbal is generally going to be far easier to use but as i said gimbals are most of the time designed for smaller cameras unless you're working with some major studio and they got a crazy budget and you got a hundred thousand dollar electronic gimbal but hey most of us are not there yet one day we will be but right now we're just working on it so with that being said if you look at um just look at electronic gimbals that can handle this payload there are none available for this price range that is just the truth now i will say aside from an electronic gimbal being easier to use i think the steadicam system is more flexible just because it is manual just because you can fly it up top you can also fly it upside down if you want to get lower shots with that being said with it being manual as i've said throughout the whole video it's definitely something that's going to take more work um and the main pro aside from that like i said is going to be the price point when compared to an electronic gimbal now electronic gimbals are cool there are a couple on the market but like i say nothing is going to come close in terms of this of the payload capacity of the thanos unit okay so next i want to talk about the value like i said for 4500 is simply no way to beat this unit uh, a max payload capacity of around 35 kilograms like i said that comes out to about 75 to 77 pounds look don't quote me if i'm wrong but it's 35 kilograms so y'all convert that and y'all let me know in the comments but there's nothing in this price point um that's going to be comparable the next one i could think of that comes to mind a little bit is going to be the lang system and this is actually cheaper than the lang system so hey like i said nothing is going to beat this price wise and if you want to get you know the og steadicam for this same kind of configuration that thing starts at thirty five thousand dollars um so you do the math in terms of what is the value it's no question that this is probably the best value on the market by far and it's just one of those things where i mean maybe in the future somebody will beat the price digital photo will probably beat their price in the future as they continue to develop this unit but this is by far the best unit on the market especially in terms of price next i want to talk about who this system is actually for now one thing to keep in mind a steady cam is certainly not for amateurs i should say it's one of those things i would say this is for anybody that wants to become a steadicam operator it doesn't want to spend thirty-five thousand dollars on a on a traditional steadicam number one is for those number two is for people like myself who do a lot of client work people who also have the ambition to shoot independent films just like myself i'm currently working on one as i've said on this channel numerous times details coming soon this is for people who want to run an independent production but also for people who want to become professional steadicam operators this thing is going to be great for music videos short films independent films basically anything that requires you to fly a heavier camera system for longer periods of time and it's just one of those things where like i said um once your camera reaches a certain weight capacity you have to get a system that can handle the camera so this is who that's for if you're somebody who primarily shoots on a dslr a mirrorless camera or a smaller camera then you definitely don't need it but if you're somebody like myself who's continuing to get bigger and bigger cameras like i said when you're working on film projects and stuff like that you're generally going to have a lot of stuff on the camera so it's going to make the weight go up so this was the perfect investment for somebody like myself who needed this type of equipment for a film 
Now, luckily, like I said, I primarily bought this to use on my independent films, but I've also been using it on client work as well. And honestly, it's been one of the best purchases I've made in honestly like the last two or three years. Let's see. So now I just want to talk a little bit about the cons. Honestly, probably the biggest con of the system, and this should be a no brainer, is the system, it, it has weight to it. It's definitely not light. As I said throughout the video, this is definitely something that you're gonna have to get used to, and it's not something specific to Thanos. This is gonna be for any Steadicam system on the market, especially Steadicams designed to fly heavier cameras. You're gonna have to get used to it. You're gonna have to fine tune your vest. You're gonna have to fine tune the arm. You're gonna have to get comfortable. It's definitely one of those things. Aside from that, I mean, this is, like I said, the best value on the market. I couldn't really find any other cons. I mean, if you're looking for a Steadicam, um, if you want something under five thousand dollars that can that can that has a max payload capacity of 35 kilograms you have no other options on the market like this is honestly the best thing to get and let me just add to that i think a lot of the times sometimes we become so brand specific we want this or we want that as you're seeing in the camera industry right now it doesn't matter what brand you're using you just got to find something that works find something that fits your budget and find something that could bring your vision to life and honestly digital photo this is the best digital photo product i've probably ever used i mean i've used different products from them in the past like their lights and different like cheaper uh, stabilizer systems but i've never used something this expensive from them and i can honestly say job well done uh definitely i mean it's it's 100 percent served this purpose and i honestly cannot wait to use it on the independent film that i'm working on i'm almost done finishing the script and that's like i say that's primarily why i invested into this unit i'm like you know what i need a steady cam system I, and plus i also didn't want to hire a steady cam operator if you don't want to buy the system you can hire an operator but if you're like me or anybody else out there independent productions are continuing to get more and more popular and the goal is to maximize your budget so any area where we can you know save money and put money towards other things that's what we have to do so that's why i chose to get this system that's why i decided to make this video to really talk about my experience from the system and whether or not i think you should get it like i say if you're somebody currently in your you know your filmmaking journey and you're looking for a steady cam system that isn't necessarily going to break the bank this is the best one on the market by far it's that's, that's just what it is aside from that i'm going to continue to use this system and honestly anytime i want to get stable shots this is a system I'm gonna use when I'm using my heavier rigs. If you have any questions, concerns, or you wanna know anything about this system, if you want me to make a follow-up video, anything, drop a comment below and just let me know. Like I said, I'd be more than willing to talk as much about this unit as y'all would like me to. At the end of the day, I wanted to give people insight on whether or not this is something they should buy or something they should even look at. I think a lot of the times, with all of this gear, it could be like, oh man, it's a lot of stuff. So it's important to find, you know, good authentic videos that actually give you, you know, real world use and, and talk about these systems. So with that being said, it was a pleasure speaking to you today. I'm glad I was finally able to get this video done. And um, I can't wait to, to drop more videos and tell you more about this product. And also stay tuned. Like I say, my independent film that I'm currently working on, um, man, it's, it's going to be crazy. And I can't wait to just show you what it can do in that light as well. Um, and we'll just go from there. But thank you. Have a great day and, and, and take it easy.